Despite the euphoria emanating from Ukraine's parliament following the ratification of the accord, some MPs expressed dissatisfaction that promised reforms will not be enacted until the end of next year. Now, unfortunately, not just we created a precedent when Russia obtained de facto a veto power, or at least some veto power, on the sovereign foreign policy choice of Ukraine, but also we de facto delaying large-scale implementation of very much needed reforms. Sentiments seemingly shared outside parliament. The head of one of Ukraine's largest banks told Euronews the country's coffers need a boost sooner rather than later. Is the delay in the uh, early uh, implementation of the agreement just concerning the tariffs? Or uh, does it concern the process of normification, the bringing up to the European norms of the Ukrainian economy? Um, if it's the latter, then obviously uh, that is sort of an open-ended question and that would, uh, would be, uh, in my view or in our view, detrimental to the uh, Ukrainian, Ukraine's effort to get closer to the European Union. Our correspondent in Kiev says Ukraine will continue to enjoy privileged access to the EU market until January, but there are genuine fears over the future. This delay could indeed give those who are against the association agreement the opportunity to push Ukraine back from its steps and bring it closer to another trade bloc, the custom union.